Jesus, do not castigate yourselves for errors or missed opportunities. April 8, 2016, by John Smallman. Jesus, we are all one. There is no separation. So many in the spiritual realms have told you this over and over again, and still you are filled with doubts and skepticism, despite all the evidentiary proof to the contrary. So we just have to keep on telling you this until it finally resonates with you and your doubts and skepticism fall away, as they surely will. You are loved and cherished beyond your ability to imagine or conceive of, and we want you to know that, so we will continue to bring it to your attention as we wait patiently for you to wake up. Our patience, unlike yours is endless, there being in truth, no such thing as time. What is, is. To awaken is your destiny and you cannot avoid it, however you can choose to delay that moment indefinitely. Engaging fully with the illusion by allowing yourselves to be seriously concerned with worldly problems that do not affect you directly, is a choice to delay that inevitable awakening. It seems that there is enormous suffering and poverty throughout the world that humanity needs to address and put to rights, and there is, but it needs to be addressed spiritually. You are all spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. It is a little like going to the movies or to the theater, you enter into an imaginary place and story for a short period to be aroused, stimulated, and excited. Taking part in political, religious, business, sporting, intellectual, or conflict zone events also arouse, stimulate, and excite you in a similar fashion, although that seems far more real to you. In fact there is very little difference. The illusion is illusory, a dream or a nightmare, depending on the part you choose to play in it, and you make that choice in every moment. All of you have engaged in personal conflicts of various types, physical fights or sporting activities that you intend to win at all costs, intellectual battles to prove yourselves right and others wrong, political, religious and philosophical arguments and disagreements, the list of activities in which you are required to take sides is practically endless, and when you win, you experience a momentary sense of glory or of a job well done, and when you lose, you experience disappointment, maybe extreme disappointment, anger or depression. And when you look back on these events, 10 or 20 years later, the importance they had for you at the time has faded or totally dissolved. You might even think to yourselves what on earth was I thinking, what was all that about? However, if you positively establish and maintain yourselves on a path of love, treating all others with respect and compassion, refusing to judge anyone, of course, in certain situations some discernment or discrimination will be called for, and basically intending to operate from your true nature, your eternal and spiritual nature, intending to be loving in every situation, then, when you look back on your lives, you will be aware of a sense of satisfaction, of peace and of personal growth. That has resulted in you gaining some wisdom along with an increasing ability to accept whatever arises. Living in the moment, as opposed to focusing your attention on the glories, or pains of the past, or hoped for pleasures and joys, or worries and anxieties that lie ahead is a far more uplifting and satisfying practice. Remember, before you incarnated as a human, you laid out a life path that would constantly present you with the lessons that you had chosen to learn. That path is always there for you, however, due to the intense attraction of the distractions with which the illusion presents you, options to judge, to engage in conflict, or to just follow your moment-to-moment -moment egoi drives, you frequently take diversions from your path. Sometimes these diversions seem to bring you temporary pleasure and satisfaction, while at others they lead you into what appear to be dead ends or even personal catastrophes. But always what arises is a nudge or opportunity to return to your path. Obviously the path you chose will not always be a path of sweetness and light, but, if you recognize and learn the lessons presented to you, it will provide you with a sense of its appropriateness, a sense that where you are is where you are meant to be and that will be immensely satisfying. Generally speaking, if you are consistently experiencing pain and suffering, you are being guided to change direction. Even if it is not possible for you to change the outer environment or situation in which you find yourselves, you most certainly can change your perception of it. In other words you can call on your spiritual guides for help in understanding the lessons being presented to you, 
and for assistance in accepting with good grace whatever arises. Whatever the situations in which you find yourselves embroiled, if you make the choice and the intent to be loving, accepting, and forgiving of yourselves, as well as of others, you will find that your perception does change, enabling you to deal far more positively with what is arising. Truly, to make the most of your experiences as a human on earth, all you need to do is to accept without judgment, whatever arises and accept that there is a lesson for you here that you have chosen to receive. As I keep reiterating, love is always the answer whatever the issue. If you are unable to feel loving, that is a very strong signal that you need to withdraw, to go within and settle into your innermost holy sanctuary, every one of you has a holy innermost sanctuary, and then ask us, your loving guides and mentors in the spiritual realms, for assistance in finding the peace that resides within you. As that sense of peace begins to pervade your consciousness, you can release your hold on whatever is upsetting you, such as judgment, resentment, anger, or blame, all of which prevent you from dealing with the situation that is disturbing you. Obviously, if it has brought you suffering, the suffering may take time to dissipate, much like grief, which can only be accepted and lived through. You have the saying this too will pass. And surely it will. If you can intend to be patient, which is difficult in a world where everything appears to have needed to have been done yesterday, and allow yourselves a few moments, moments in which you take a few very deep breaths, you will experience an easing of the stress that you are undergoing. Then a knowing that you can cope will arise, and options that you had not seen or ignored will present themselves to you. Be kind, loving, and forgiving to yourselves daily. Do not castigate yourselves for errors or missed opportunities, instead, remind yourselves that you are exactly where you are supposed to be, where you have chosen to be, and that your guides are with you in every moment waiting to flood your hearts with love, when you choose to invite them in. The only reason you feel unloved is because in your fearful unacceptance of the fact that you are a divine being, a beloved child of God, you close your hearts as a defense against suffering and pain. Open your hearts. Love envelopes you in every moment waiting for the opportunity to embrace and enfold you when you choose to allow it to do so, instead of focusing on how unfairly you believe that you have been treated. Focusing there is self-defeating when you could instead be enjoying an uplifting and inspiring divine hug. Your loving brother, Jesus.